Welcome to our presentation on the life and death of Kenneth Scott. Instead of just learning the basic facts about the Vietnam War, we decided to focus our studies on Kenneth Scott in our American History II class. Kenneth Scott graduated from Chatham Central High School in 1965, and to this day is the only graduate of the school that has lost his life in war. We invited members of the community into our classroom and listened as they shared facts, memories, artifacts, and stories about Kenneth. The purpose of this project is to honor the sacrifice Kenneth Scott has made for our country in the Vietnam War. This project has definitely changed how we view the Vietnam War and how we view Kenneth. Thank you very much and enjoy. A total of 2.7 million U.S. troops were sent to Vietnam between 1964 and 1972, with 536,000 joining the fight in 1968 alone. Throughout the year, over 1.7 million people were drafted, while less than a half a million volunteered to serve. Kenneth Scott was born on February 8, 1947. He lived in Harpers Crossroads on 902. His parents were Norman and Beatrice Scott with one brother, Rex. Kenneth attended Bennett School from first to eighth grade where he played baseball and basketball. On the screen, you can see his Little League uniform. Kenneth later decided to go to Chatham Central due to football. While no one wanted him to leave, Kenneth decided to pursue his dream of playing football. Kenneth helped around the house before and after school by doing multiple chores, some of which were feeding the chickens and helping with tobacco on the farm. <coughs> Mr. Kenneth Scott attended Chatham Central High School from 1961 to 1965. In this time, he was involved in clubs such as Monogram, Bear Facts, and FFA. He also participated in sports such as baseball, basketball, track in his spare time, and most notably football, being awarded multiple all-conference titles as well as scoring 20 touchdowns in just his senior year. After, to spe after speaking to Kenneth's high school teachers as well as classmates, adjectives such as humble, charismatic, hardworking, and competitive all came up to describe him. One teacher even described how Kenneth's work ethic that he exhibited while in high school would have undoubtedly made him a strong and reliable soldier. All this being said, Kenneth Scott most definitely left a legacy within this school that has remained here as well as in the hearts of many. Kenneth entered college in 1965 at NC State University. He only finished his freshman year before he entered the military. He had no declared major as his focus was football. Um, Kenneth was offered scholarships by Guilford and Elon College to play football, but his dream was to play at NC State. He loved outdoors and he had a job building homes during the summer. Kenneth was not married, but was engaged to Betty Lou Phillips before leaving for Vietnam. received a low draft number while in his first year at NC State. He knew he would more than likely be drafted, so he decided to sign up himself. He first went to the Marines, but he was told he would not be able to fly without a college degree, so he decided to join the Army. In the Army, he trained at Fort Benning and Fort Rucker.
Kenneth entered the Army in the summer of 1966. He then arrived in South Vietnam in October of 1967. While Kenneth was in the Army, he served in the 114th Aviation Company, 114th Assault Company, 1st Aviation Brigade, and the U.S. ARV. His highest ranking position and military grade was Warrant Officer 1. During Kenneth's short time serving in Vietnam, he received many military awards, which include the Army Aviator Wings Insignia, the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Bronze Star Medal, the Purple Heart Medal for his combat-related wounds, the Vietnam Service Medal, the Republic of Vietnam Campaign Service Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, and the Air Medal with multiple oak leaf clusters. <laughs> Kenneth flew at least 60 missions. He wrote many letters home to his family while he did not mention Vietnam at the time. On February 8, 1968, he wrote a letter saying he could now vote. This was his 21st birthday. <laughs> Kenneth's family received letters weekly from him. This included during the time of the Tet Offensive, which began January 30th of 1968, and ended February 24th of 1968. Kenneth died February 22nd of 1968. He was shot in the Kien Phong province of South Vietnam while moving the Huey helicopter to another location. His co-pilot took over when Kenneth died. There were five random shots from the ground and one of those struck Kenneth underneath his chin. He died instantly. The government told his family he was missing in action. His family has always questioned this information due to the fact that he was with his comrades when he was killed and they immediately flew back to base. The family couldn't see the body due to keeping his casket sealed. Nevertheless, Kenneth is the only graduate from Chatham Central High School to die in the war. The community was devastated. Kenneth's funeral and memorial service was held at Tyson's Creek Baptist Church in the Old Sanctuary, also known as the Little White Church. The funeral home received his body on March 9th, but his funeral wasn't held until later that month. He was also buried at Tyson's Creek. The speakers at his funeral were Reverend Bill Hightower and Ronald Scott. Coach Scott shared with us a story about speaking at Kenneth's funeral. Earlier that day, he took his baseball players to Greensboro for a game. He traveled back to Bear Creek and spoke at the funeral, then traveled back to Greensboro to coach the game. He remembers just how difficult it was to coach the game after speaking at the funeral because Kenneth was so special to him as a former athlete and student. On the other hand, some of the fondest memories that were shared with us were from Kenneth's brother, Rex Scott. Rex loved playing basketball with Kenneth and even told us that the matter Kenneth would make him, the better his outside shot became. Another story was from Kenneth's neighbor, Diane Brooks. She went to church and youth with Kenneth, and she still has the little red bird note holder that Kenneth gave her when he drew her name for Christmas one year. The Kenneth Scott Memorial Scholarship was started in 1985 by classmates of Kenneth. Since that time, nearly $85,000 have been awarded to graduating seniors from Chatham Central High School. As we conclude our presentation, we would like to show you our design for the Kenneth Scott Memorial. We have decided to place this design near the football field since Kenneth was highly involved with football here at Chatham Central. We would also like to thank the following individuals for their time and support with artifacts and information as we explored the life of Ken Scott. At this time, would all seniors who participated in the research, interviews, artwork, memorial design involved in our project please stand to be acknowledged.
This concludes our presentation. We hope you enjoyed it and thank you for attending.